So I made this cover track last week. It's a song by Doppler Effect called Info Physics. It's uh, from around 2000. Nice minimal electro uh, track. And I thought it would be fun to use it to illustrate how you can use the RK2 with the focus sample to play sounds and, uh, chromatically and play chords, which is normally not possible. And then, well, I thought why not just use it as well to illustrate how you can use the output menu on the RK8 um, by placing the Yamaha QI10 next to it. The QI10 is a um, multi-timbre module, it's like a also for making songs on the go. It has like uh, samples for um, bass, strings, some lead sounds, you know, a bit uh, quirky maybe, you know, dated, that's the, that's the proper name. But, um, well, it has a specific sound and it does take you back to that era somehow. Um, and with the use of MIDI on um, the RK8, you can just use these both in a different way. It's not confined to only using a sampler or only using a rompler like this. Um, I can, wait, I can just um, add all and show you how they sound independently. So, this is the folk sample. And this is the QI10. This, this is them all together. So, bam, maybe you hear that I'm only sending out this uh, lead track to the QI10. That's where the output menu comes in. Alt 7. First thing you see in, out, in the output menu is you can select a fixed track output to a track, a fixed MIDI channel output, I should say, um, because every track can send out 16 MIDI channels differently. So, um, yeah, you can actually make a whole song on a single track uh, with drums and bass and chords and everything. But by splitting them out in different uh, separate channels, you can use the RK8 as a switchboard. So, uh, I have set different channel outputs on every track and if I now press select track 1, I play the trumpet sound. If I press 2, I press the bass sound. This is the chords on the QI-10. And this is the chords on the focus sample. So with a single, single tap I can just switch to different sounds. That's why we have the channel selection. You can just set a different channel. Uh, just press like channel 2, record, or if you have two digits numbers like the 11, then it will immediately accept the 11 as the channel and it will uh, send out to channel 11. 16 is the max, so... And if you set it to zero, like this, then it's original, which means there's no mapping. Any incoming MIDI channel will go out to the same MIDI out channel. Um, but this was 11, so I'll keep it there. Next thing you see is, going to the right in the output menu, you have the port selection. So, standard, the RK8 send out to port 1, port 2, and if the RK6 is connected via USB, it will also send out to USB. So, potentially, you have, uh, what, 48 MIDI channels to separate, if you can switch these ports. And you can, because if you press 1, it will only send out to port 1. If you press 2, it will only send out to port 2. And if you press 3, it will send out to the RK6. And these will not have the same MIDI data. Well, you default it to all by pressing 0. And, um, well, this is actually the, uh, the possibilities of the output menu. Well, there's a big one ahead of us. Uh, menu 8, the tempo. Uh, there's a lot of possibilities there as well. So, um, stay tuned. <laughs> 